So I'm going to show off a little arena build. This is a more so for fun build, just to boast and show your friends, not so much to win. But it is an Executioner point capping build. This is from Apocalypse in the Chad Gamer Discord. We have the Blood Letter. I did change his build up a bit, and I went with Face Scale Robe. Crypt Candle for damage, Mistwalker Shoes so we can jump in and kill someone and then teleport away. Assassin Hood for cooldowns, and Limhurst Cape for mana. So the way this build works is it's really, really good for mobility, so you can cap points really quickly. You can also uh, chase a guy that's on low HP, burning all of his cooldowns to escape, and then finish him off. So it really pads your stats on Arena. It, uh, but it's not really the most useful build for your team comp. It's not going to... Uh, you're very squishy because you're in cloth and a crypt candle, so you die really easy. You die insanely easy. And look, the enemy has to basically... One of them has to, like, babysit me. They have to watch me, and I can just sit here on the sidelines in the back. And uh, if anyone runs away from the front lines, I can maybe kill them. I'm forcing... I have to force one of them to leave the fight to come stop me from capping. Uh, otherwise, I get the point. Looks like I might get this point, so there we go. Cool. <laughs> I just got the point. And, um, you know, if someone's really weak, like... Oh no, he sh he's auto-attacking me. whoop de doo I can just stun him with the face skill rope, right? So, uh, there we go. Just go ahead and hit me if you dare, man. Like, look at this. I can boink. So that's my kill now. <laughs> Don't really need it. But, um, and now I can go cap this point. So all in all, it's pretty darn good. Just go here. And, uh, you know, the faster I cap it, the, uh, the more points my team gets. And then I can reset my cooldowns and, you know, just do whatever. You can also, like, you can jump into the fray for healers real good, but it's a big stress on your healer. And that's not really my role, is, is fighting. I can maybe disrupt a bit with my armor. Oh, you see there's a wounded player there? Oh, he, he just got healed. I was too slow. Alright, let's uh, let's throw a fire wall here, you know, uh, around my allies. I don't know. It's, it's a little bit helpful. We got a wounded player here. Check this out. See if I can get him. And I didn't get him. So, that's, that's a bummer. <laughs> but I can kind of flee here. Maybe go up here, start capping this. Because, look, there's no players around. I might as well cap it. Right? That's part of the fun. That's part of the whole arena experience is, is capping all the little zones. And let's get my cooldowns back now. i got to keep my mobility up. Nice and frosty and fresh. And I can just kind of sit here and I dodged his heal. Uh, I sit here in the middle and stop people from capping my other points. Which, you can't really stop them. You can maybe pester them a little bit. But at the end of the day, it's they'll, they'll just kill you. Alright, we got this free beer guy down here. That's his guild. He might get killed, so I'm going to kind of prepare up. And he's going after me, or he's... I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> we got a bow guy trying to shoot at me. Oh, we got a semi-wounded dude at, up top. If he if he was just more wounded. For for Bloodletter, you just need people to have... I know that guy's capping, by the way. Uh, you just need people to be at uh, under two life bars. That's it. Under two life bars and you're good. Like this guy, he's about to be under two life bars. And there we go. Well, I almost got him, but I didn't quite do enough damage. And uh, here, let's spam my armor. I died before I got to spam my armor. Uh, and again, like, <laughs> you are very, very squishy in this build. It is a very squish build. Uh, not fun at all. Also, you don't need good gear in Arena. Don't let some random twerp in the chat tell you that your item power is too low. Because item power is limited in Arena. So, like, for instance, I have 930 item power with this, and now I'm at 906. It's being reduced by the zone reduction. So... 4.1 is all you need. I don't have spec and bloodletter. I don't have spec and daggers. So you you don't need spec either. Just get 4.1 and it still lowers your item power. Uh, so uh, looks like we got... Uh, my whole team is just kind of running after this one dude here. And, uh, you know, you can kind of slap him around a bit, but... We're just here to execute and cap points. That's it. That's all we do. I'm not here to stop enemies from capping points. I don't have the build to really poke or stop people. I'm just here to cap points whenever the enemy is ignoring me. And to pick up, just pick off kills like this. This might be a juicy kill. And there we go. My kill. Look at that. Now it looks like, I mean, yeah, we have a guy with four kills here with uh, Ursine Maulers. But uh, what can you what can you really do? This guy might be killed soon. So I'm kind of hanging out. Oh, see, look. He's, uh, oh, no, he's getting his life back because he's a Hellion Jacket. You could also run Mage. <laughs> mage Armor to purge these. But it's whatever, man. It's whatever you want to do. I'm going to just flame them away. That's kind of annoying, right? Get a couple little tags on them. Uh-oh, he's he's getting down. Check it out. That guy's getting a little bit low health too. I'm just hanging out. I'm like a little I'm like a little uh, mosquito. Oh, check it, check it out. Dude, that that's a kill. And then I can teleport all the way back here like a ninja, like a boss and capture the point. 
very cool build uh, from Apocalypse. It's again, it's this is not gonna get you item or this is not gonna rank you up at all. This is just a hey, look at me. I've I've got five capture points uh, on my thing, so <laughs> you know, yeehaw, partner. <laughs> Uh, very high mobility build. Uh, best healer XD. Oh, got a bow user. Spread out, everybody. <laughs> and uh, you can kind of fight. You know, I can kind of maybe fight this dude, right? I can maybe jump on him and use my uh, my jacket here to attack him a little bit. Though, technically, I should lose this. Oh, can I E that? Oh, I, I, did I miss him? Maybe. No, I kind of hit him. I kind of did hit him there, huh? Pretty cool. I have so much mobility. I can just... Uh, just dance around his attacks. Yeah, I won that. That's cool. Um, <laughs> and that's mostly because of the face scale armor. You know, it just you drain their HP like crazy. All right, let's let's start dashing over this way. <laughs> Get those capture points. We're the capturing guy. It's our role. It's our job. It is our job to capture the points. And it looks like my team's getting kind of dumpstered on towards our spawn, but that's okay because the enemy is. They've probably kind of sort of given up, it looks like, maybe. I, I mean, I'm not entirely sure, but, um, let's... Oh, that guy was so low on health that I ran away. I, I should have checked his HP. He is a low HP baller. Well, he's not. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go. We're, we're fighting. <laughs> oh, he's going invisible to do the invis meme. Oh, no, the enemy is all approaching me. What am I ever going to do? I guess I'll just run away. <laughs> See, look at this. You just run away. I'm very mobile, and they're gonna what? He's gonna he's gonna get the kill. Okay, that puts all of them out of position big time. Congrats. <laughs> they're all down here now, and my team is you know cleaning up the business on the right side and gonna get that last cap. Yes, the enemy team could start capping these, but I've already capped them. It's uh it, the thing is it's more efficient because it's closer to my team spawn. You get the idea, right? You don't have to overthink this stuff. This is just a for funs build. Uh, for capping points and stealing kills. That's all we're doing. We're just stealing kills. We're not even earning kills. We're just picking on people that are low health. And, uh, like, these guys are full health. We don't want to approach them, you know? But they, they're they forced to either guard the point that they just captured because I'm just going to go cap it back. Why would, why would I fight them? 2v1 and I'm a squish build? No thanks. I'm just going to, you know, buzz buzz around them like an annoying little mosquito and swoop in and take them out. Boom. Easy. We... Just recap. Look, there's a guy low health. Check this out. Boom, got him. And then, <laughs> and then I'm gone. I am gone. There's a guy kind of low health here too. I'm just gonna do the fire circle thingy. Let's get my cooldowns back so I can chase this dude. So dash, dash, almost dash, almost got him, bros, almost. <laughs> oh man, very close to killing that dude. But you could you could see the mobility is it's wild. It is, it's super, <laughs> it's highly efficient. It's going to go cap this point. And, uh, you know, they got five points left. Is he going to stop me? Nope. Okay, cool. And he's still shooting after the score screen popped up. But that is the build. It's a fun one. Let's see what we got. We got ourselves a tier six royal sigil. And I don't have any ranks, so 28 fame tomes. It's whatever, bros. You know, just, just give me that silver, bro. Go ahead and put those in there. And uh, with that said, that's the build. <laughs> I'm so busy. Thanks for watching. As always, be a road safe. So let me know what you think. Uh, again, it's just for fun. Don't think you're going to rank up with this build at all. This is not a ranking up build. For solo play in Arena, like honestly, if you play solo, you'll probably... I don't know anyone that has a high rank only solo queuing because you run into pre-mades and you just lose, 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 lose. With that said, I read every comment. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below. Five bucks a month helps support me. You get access to private, more personal videos. Way better. Uh, they're too good for the public, and that's why they're there. If I released them to the public, it would just destroy the game's economy. Let's just say that. With that said, also, on the right side of the, your screen is a video. You should absolutely click. Click that video on the right side right now. If you don't, you're going to accidentally find uh, expired food in your fridge. <laughs>